In today's Tuesday Tech Tip, I'll share with you how we can stack our prompts to really drill down and get exactly what we want from ChatGPT. Over the last few weeks, I've been experimenting with ChatGPT and using it on a daily basis for various teaching tasks, from drafting emails to planning out presentations. GPT's become another tool I can use in my fight for productivity and to reduce the time I spend on admin tasks. But there are times when I prompt GPT and the results I get back are a bit generic. And I think that's because I was using it more like a Google search rather than a sniffer dog looking for the bone that we've hidden. I'm not your sniffer dog. Oh, really? <laughs> Now, the beauty with ChatGPT is that it's a chatbot. So once it responds to a prompt, we can send it back out again to expand even further, getting more and more focused as we go. Instead of just creating a set of random questions and responses, our chat log becomes a portfolio of projects with layers of responses. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll be creating a student art project plan from start to finish. The key to a good response is engineering a really specific prompt for GPT to respond to. I'm teaching level three art and design students who are about to embark on their final major projects. This is where the students devise their own projects and work as independently as possible in executing that project. This means that they've got to think up a project theme, write the brief, plan the project and respond as creatively as they can to the parameters that they've set. Now this is quite a challenge and a lot of time can be spent at the start of a project as they grapple with what to base their ideas on. So here's how we can use ChatGPT to plan the whole project from start to finish so that students have a basic guide on what they need to do. So we need to start off broad, but keep things really specific. So let's ask it. Can you give me ideas for possible end of year final major projects for level three art and design students in the UK to work on independently? perhaps covering subject areas such as fine art, graphic design, product design, and architecture. So we've got what we want, what it's for, who it's for, and why we want it. And we've given ChatGPT some specific subject areas to respond to. And here's the results. Now this is great, but it's a bit generic and I could really do with some more detail and actual project ideas, so we'll ask it for a bit more detail. Expand on each of these with five specific projects for each point. And now we've got some possible project ideas students can use to kickstart their projects. But again, I could do with some more ideas, especially for the design students. So I add, give me a specific product or brand names for each where applicable. And now we've got some fictional brands we can design for to launch our project around. So we've got some potential project ideas that can spark the students' creativity in designing their own projects. The next thing we need is a guide on how to tackle the FMP. So let's see how GTP can help us with that. Produce a guide for students on how to successfully complete their final major project which they will mainly work independently on. And GPT gives us an overall guide to tackling the project. Now we could really do with some more specific steps, so we ask it to be even more specific. Write me a seven week project plan that follows the design development process of research, design ideas, design development and final design. And now we've got a plan to follow but we can refine this even further by stacking another prompt. Expand on each point further with specific examples and ideas. Create it in a table format. <laughs> wow. Now we've got a full breakdown of the project week by week with examples and ideas in an easy to read format. There's a few tweaks I'd need to make, but this has saved me so much time already. But we're not done yet. Now we need some methods for generating ideas that our students can use to respond to the brief that they'll be writing. So again, we're really specific with our prompt. Act as a creativity expert. Provide five different idea generating techniques with instructions on how to use them to generate initial ideas 
or expand on existing ideas. ACT-AS is a really useful way to guide GPT to respond in the way that we want. Then we're asking it exactly what we want and we're giving it the context in which we want to use its response. And now we've got five different idea generating techniques and as an artist, designer and educator myself, I can confirm that I've used all five of these techniques myself before and I would definitely recommend these to students. Let's see if we can get GPT to guide us with what to research for the project. Write a plan for the research phase of the project. Ah, now we've hit a stumbling block. ChatGPT has given us a response and thinks we want information on a research project, which isn't quite what we're looking for. I was too generic with my prompt. We want a plan for the research phase of the design development process. So let's ask it to rewrite and be a bit more specific with our prompt. Rewrite the research plan so it's focused on the research phase of the design development process. Give ideas of what to research. And the response is much better, especially for the design-based students. But what about the fine artists who might not have a client or products to research? Let's ask it. Write another version for fine artists. And there you go, we've got a research plan for fine artists too. Now we've got a full project plan that we could use to create a guide for the students to use for their projects, from initial project ideas to a breakdown of their project week by week, along with ways of generating ideas and even a guide to researching their projects. If I was writing all of this from scratch, it'd take me a couple of hours at least. Now I can actually get on with supporting the students in the studio rather than being sat in my office at my computer. Have a go at prompt stacking yourself and let us know in the comments what you've been asking ChatGPT to do. Let us all know what prompts you're using so we can try them out for ourselves. I really do hope you found this video useful and if you did, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech and teaching tips for teachers. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.